board. Okay, so this is grid lesson contour step number two. So the first step, you are outlining your hair. You may or may not be done. You should outline your hair. In this case, I wouldn't because it's not inside my grid. But if your hair is inside your grid, you would outline the hair. So this part of my hair is inside, so I would have outlined that. My ear is not inside, so I'm not outlining that, but I would have outlined here. Maybe I would have done the nose. This line here, this line here, any big lines, like that one, the chin's not inside. But then the question becomes, how do you do the eyes and the mouth? Because if you look at people, their eyes are extremely, extremely detailed. And if you make the slightest difference, or make an eye a millimeter thinner or wider, it will look like a different person because they're very, very small. But we spend most of our time or much of our time looking at people's eyes. So we've actually gotten very good at noticing small differences. So that's why it's very important to get the eyes perfect, as perfect as you can. Same with the lips. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this square by square helper, which I really like. I made this. I'm so proud of it. Maybe I'll patent it. You'll see it's a one by one centimeter square. This black part here is one by one centimeter. And so there's a black line here, and so you'll get one of these, and you're going to basically cut it out. You can cut the bottom part if you want off. And you're going to cut on this thick black line to get into that square, and then really as carefully as you can on that square you're going to cut. You want to cut so that there's no black showing on the side there. You're just going to cut exactly that black square out as perfectly as you can. If you don't do it perfectly, go ahead and get another one. Um, and we're going to cut that black square out. There we go, and it's gone. Good idea to write your name on it because other people will steal them, and then that way you'll be like, Look, that's mine. Now, you will choose the squares that you will be double gridding. So let's say I'm looking at the lips here. Now, you may not double grid all of them. I'm going to have to zoom in here. I may not do all of them, but there are how many squares are associated with my lips? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a lot of squares. These ones, maybe not so important, but these two, these four maybe, would be really good to get more detail, because if I get this wrong, it's going to look like I have these massive fat lips. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double grid those squares. So I'm going to put the square by square helper on there. I'm going to grab my ruler. I'm going to try and keep that right in place so it doesn't move, and where that line is, I'm going to basically draw a line through that line. Let's see if I can focus better. So I'm going to continue that line. There we go. So now I've done it one way and I'm going to go the other way. You have to do this very carefully. Notice my ruler is a little bit below because the pen takes up some space. So now I've double gridded this square here. Didn't go right to the edge because I think I cut my square off a little bit. I'll do this one as well over here. I'm going to double grid here. There we go, and I'm going to do the other one, the vertical line. I'll just do these two for now. Okay, so I've double gridded both these. Because I didn't, it didn't go all the way, maybe I'm going to extend that line. It's a little bit off clearly, so maybe I'll just extend that. So now I've double gridded these squares. Which squares did I double grid? Looking back, I have a double gridded B2 and B3. So now I need to go to my sheet over here, my large drawing, and do the same with B2 and B3. So I'm going to go to B2 and B3. Now this time we're working with inches. Okay, so here's B2. I have to make a mark at half an inch and half an inch. And I'm using pen. You guys will use pencil. And I need to connect them. Again, lightly because you're doing this so that hopefully you can't see it later. Then I go to the vertical side, half an inch, mark half an inch, and connect them. And now I have double gridded square B2, but I also have to do square B3. So I've got the bottom marking already for half an inch. Now I'm going to go to the top part here. So I'm marking between here and here. So there's half an inch. So I'll connect that. I don't know if you can see my line there isn't showing up so clearly. There we go. Now you can see it a bit clearer. And so between here and here, I'm going to mark half an inch. Between here and here, I'm going to mark half an inch. Remember, you have to mark both sides. Some people only mark one side. It doesn't work. Now I've double graded B2 and B3 on both. So now I'm ready to go. So here's B2. And now I'm going to find B2 over here. There's B2. Okay, so here's B2. 
and here is B2 over here. And so now I'm going to go small square at a time, not big square. So this little square here, there's four squares here. And I'm going to see, I see this little line right over here, and that's the line I'm going to get. So that's not in this square, that's in this square here. So this little line here is kind of like this. This little line here. And this little line here goes up in this square, up to the corner there, pretty close. And so it kind of curves like that. Okay, so I've done these too many squares and these too many squares. On the bottom, there's no line, there's just shading information. Then I go up here to this double grid over here, and it's kind of hard to see from where I am, but there's, I guess, some shading information here, and there's a bit of a line. It's kind of hard to see sometimes, but I'm going to draw it in with my pen. Looks like there's a line there for the top of my lip. So that would be over here and over here. Okay, now it kind of looks like I haven't done that much, but once you go and finish your double grid and write, draw, transfer all the information from the small areas, that's going to work okay. Are you seeing that okay?